fun with grammar. Hola, welcome back to EFG. I hope you are safe. Today, let us have a look at another part of speech that we are it to learn. Mm, what are the other two parts of speech that are pending? Conjunctions and interjections. Today, let us have a look at conjunctions. Mm, what are conjunctions? Let me give you a clue. Imagine these are four roads and they connect at a particular point. Mm, what is this particular point called? A junction. The same way when there are two or more sentences and we connect or join them together with the help of one particular word, it is conjunction. Is the sentence called a conjunction? No. The word that connects two or three sentences together is called a conjunction. Let me explain clearly. Imagine there are two sentences. Sentence 1 and sentence 2. Now we have to join these two sentences. Then we have a meeting point for these two sentences to be joined. And in that meeting point, we have a word that joins these two sentences. That word is called a conjunction. Let me list out some of the conjunctions that we use in our everyday lives. Some of the conjunctions that I have written are and, but, because, so, so that, therefore, though and although. Are these the only conjunctions? No. These are some of the conjunctions that we use regularly. Mm, let me explain the use of some of the conjunctions from the listed ones here. Here I have two conjunctions and but. There are slight differences that we will have to follow between and and but. But that makes a great difference while we use in the sentences. Let us have a look at that. We use the conjunction and when the sentences are related to each other, we use the conjunction but when the sentences have a completely opposite or different ideas in it. Mm, there is one rule when we use and or but while joining two sentences. When we use and, we remove the words that are repeated in both the sentences. Which is when we use the conjunction but, we don't always remove the repeated words but at times if it is really necessary, we remove the repeated words. Let us have a look at some examples so that you understand this clearly. Here I have two sentences. I have a pen. I have a pencil. Here we see that the ideas are same for both of these sentences. Both talks about the same person and the idea of having something is also same in both of these sentences. Which means we can use the conjunction and. Alright, let me use the conjunction and now. I have a pen and I have a pencil. Now here the conjunction and joins both sentences together. But do you notice something? Isn't it too long with the same information repeated again? I have a pen and I have a pencil. Here we repeat the person and the idea again though it conveys the same meaning here. So I am going to remove the I and the word have that are repeated. Now let me join these two together using the conjunction and. I have a pen and a pencil. It still serves the same meaning even after removing the words I and have. So here we learn that 
when we use the word and what do we do we remove the words that are repeated now let us have a look at one example for the conjunction but here i have the same two sentences but i have tweaked the second sentence a little bit i have a pen i do not have a pen here the ideas are completely opposite to each other we see that i have a pen which means i have a pen i do not have a pencil there is no pencil which means it is the opposite of the first sentence so we use the conjunction but to join these two sentences i have a pen but i do not have a pencil isn't that right great it really sounds fine and repeating the same word again mm, is really necessary here i can change this sentence even more shorter i have a pen but not a pencil here i have removed the words i do and have because it still serves the same meaning this sentence and this sentence have got the same meaning so anything that you write is always fine i have a pen but i do not have a pencil is correct but when you write i have a pen but not a pencil it is even more appropriate but if you are not confident about this sentence it is always fine to write this particular sentence let me show you more examples of and and the conjunction but all right i hope the video was really useful if you feel so please share the video with your friends as well and do not forget to subscribe we are very close to 100 subscribers please do not forget to post your doubts in the comment section and do not forget to follow me on the instagram page efg2029 see you in the next video bye